Okay, uh, we had a good scrimmage today. Uh, I think it was um, a little over 100 plays. It was really base scrimmage. Uh, I think we went ones on ones uh, for 54 plays, twos on twos for 57 plays. Um, did a lot of base stuff, especially in the first half. We just wanted to see who could line up and, and tackle, who could block and all that. Second half, we uh, you know, did a little bit more uh, with the pressure on defense as far as that goes. We did let our young quarterbacks go live. Um, you know, anytime you go live, you can really find out a lot of information. And that was Woody and Malik. And uh, it was good to see those guys out there. And it's also good for a defense, all right, to be able to, to you, know, you know, have to have to play a live quarterback. I thought that was good. In the middle of the scrimmage, we did, uh, we did three live punts and a punt return, which, you know, this is the one opportunity that uh, our guys can really show what they can do. Um, Eli Stove was one of our returners, Ryan Davis, and then John Franklin also got a rep back there in punt return. So we, we really, uh, you know, we got some good information off that. But, you know, overall, uh, you know, I don't think there was any major injuries and all that, and you always worry about that. But uh, you know, overall, I thought it was a solid day. Uh, defense did some good things. Offense did some good things. But it was good for us as coaches, uh, you know, and players. I mean, for the players to kind of see where we're at, because there's nothing like live football. I mean, you can, you can simulate, you know, all you want during practice and thudding up and all that. But when you actually go live, and there was a couple guys, too, that – you know, anytime you go live, you, they respond uh, in a different way. So, overall, it was a, a good scrimmage. Questions? Uh, Stid, I'm not going live is it because you, you've got a better idea. Yeah, we, we have a little more information on him. Um, you know, like I said, the older guys, just those two young guys, we really wanted to give them a chance to, to show what they could do. What did you see out of them today? You know, it, it was uh, it was good. They they um, you know are both have the running ability, and uh, both of them at times you know use their legs. Um, you know, but it was good to see how they react in the pocket and, you know, especially dropping back and feeling pressure. And, you know, there's not a quick whistle, you know, like there is when you're in the orange jersey. So it gave, it gave Chip some good information on both of them, um, you know, to start working on specific things the rest of the spring. What did you see from John Franklin now in the wide receiver? Yeah, John Franklin, I think he had a couple of catches, uh, which is always good. You know, we're just trying to uh, get the ball in his hands. And uh, he did some good things and still learning the position, but he, he's a – He's a veteran guy. The fact that he played quarterback, so he understands the the splits and the depth and the timing and the progression and everything that goes with that. And uh, I thought he did some good things. And you know, each practice you see him getting more and more comfortable. Uh, he can flat out run. The defense you'll get the better of the first team offense today. A little bit. You know, I, really, um, really, I think it was pretty even. I, I mean, it, I, I really do. There was some. Good things on defense. The defense forced uh, some three and outs. The offense moved the football. Um, I mean, it was it was it was really close today. Is what I'd say. Yes. What did you what did you see out of James? I mean, your first kind of scrimmage. Yeah. You know, I thought it was good for him out there in the stadium. You know, he hadn't played football in a year, and uh, so it's different when you get out here. I thought he did some good things. He got some things that, you know, that uh, Chip will work on correcting uh, for the rest of the spring, but. You know, even though he wasn't live, when you're out here and you're scrimmage football and uh, the coaches aren't there and they're off the sidelines and, and, and you just let your guys play, you learn a lot. And so it was good for him. You guys in your first organized type six scrimmage with, with Chip, how did you feel like pace went? How did you feel like that kind you, of you know, any time that, you know, you're, you're practicing and you're running four plays and then you're going off the field and the other come at four play, you can't dictate the pace in a scrimmage or a game. Now we have our pace periods like you've seen before, but there's nothing like the real thing. And I thought after the first series or two, they started to really get in some tempo, um, but that's a process, you know? And of course, next Saturday, the, the pro, you know, the, the tempo should be better. And uh, so there's some teaching moments um, off today's scrimmage that uh, definitely can help with the tempo moving forward. And that usually happens the first scrimmage too. Yeah, with, with that being said, I should have said this earlier, we 60% uh, run, 40% pass. So, you know, usually our, our first scrimmages in the past have been probably 80-20. So we were a little bit more balanced. We talked about, you know, really for the offense trying to be more balanced. And so that was by design, um, you know, and, and so that was that was the percentages. How many would you say just by top of your head, deep shots down the field? 
Yeah, yeah. The, the, there was a handful of deep shots. We try to give our guys uh, some deep shots down the field. The vertical passing game, give our receivers some some chances. So you know, I would say anywhere from probably eight to ten, just thinking off my head. Hey, Sean. Sean did seven on seven. He warmed up and all that, and that's all we've really been doing. We don't want to put him in a situation in 11-11, somebody hit his arm and all that. But I will say he's progressing well. Um, you know, this past week, you know, he's done. Uh, he's rotated uh, with, with the seven on seven. And of course, you know, I know Chip's been impressed with him with his retention. Obviously, he played last year, so he's very familiar with things. And even the new concepts he's familiar with. So. You know, he's off to a good start, but but he's limited just to seven on seven and one on one. Is it hard to say that Jarrett's got a lot of momentum at this point? I mean, he's just working with the ones as much as he has? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's, um, you know, they're, they're splitting time in seven on seven. Um, and then Sean's doing all the drills, but, um, you know, he's getting a lot of reps with the ones. Looking at the uh, defense today, what did you notice or stand out about? Uh, you know, the first group's flying around, there, there, there's no doubt. And the second group, especially on both sides, and that's when you really learn a lot about your guys. we got a lot of veteran guys that, that have played uh, on defense and, and played well. And um, it was pretty much what you would think. Just go back to it, too. Just ask about the momentum with Jared and Sean. You, you spoke about how much information you have on both of them. You've been, you and Chip both said that you're not planning to name a starter by the end of spring. Has that changed at all? Or you no, said, no, it hadn't changed. No, don't don't read anything into that. I mean, it, it is what it is. Sean White can't go over 11-11. But, uh, you know, and I'm going to say this, too, that the two young guys, you can see them continually get better. And I know Chip, from time to time, has rotated those guys with that group, too. So, uh, you know, but uh, it was good. They got a lot of good information out of the two young guys, specifically. Malik Willis going live today, was he able to show off his athleticism mm -hmm. and stay pressure? Yeah, he was. Yeah. What, what did you notice from him in his first live action? Well, I mean, you know, he's got a he's got a skill set, and he can run. And um, you know, I think more than anything, you already know, you know, him and Woody can run and, and all that. But just how they react to certain situations um, when they've got to think through the process of moving the chains, and it's third and short. Should I give it? Should I keep it? Should I throw it? You know, those type things on our option game and. Um, so Chip got some good information off those guys. Take me more. Situation at tailback, how are you kind of rotating and how, how are you playing that, that spot? Yeah, I, I believe uh, most of the guys got opportunities to carry the football. I know that, you know, Cameron Martin and Malik got a whole lot of reps today. And that was by design, too. Um, both those guys probably got the, the, the bulk of the carries. And I thought uh, both of them did a solid job. I don't think either one of them put the ball on the ground. And obviously, that's what you, you know, you, you think about that first scrimmage. You know, have a chance to, to, to hold on to the football. What did you say the wide receiver group today? Anybody, anybody kind of catch your eye there? Uh, you know, John Franklin made a couple catches. Uh, Thirty-three made a couple, couple solid catches. I mean, it, it, it's a group that uh, you know they're, they're continually get better, and uh, you know we're going against some really good defensive backs. I mean, when our receivers go against our first group of defensive backs, I mean it's it's real football and. You know, it's it's a, it's always a good match. Did you explore any contingencies with the offensive line? Or do you just want to keep those groups kind of. You know, I mean, Herb mixed and matched a little bit. I can't tell you exactly, uh, but that was by design too. Kind of like we talked about, you know, early in the spring, just trying to give a few new faces in with the first group and see how they react, just to try to get that depth. And um, so I know there was some of that today. Right, thank you.